thanks for stopping by again. Guys, very exciting video today. <laughs> Just throw the- <laughs> Broke it! Look! Ah, oh, I was expecting you to catch it. Now I'm gonna have to get some boost auto part. Key fobs? Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh my. Hang on, oh. now we gotta fix it. It's not too broke. We'll put it back together. Hey, it's back backwards. It is? Yep. Is it that way? Oh. Uh -huh. Did I throw that at your face? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. I think, I don't know. You could have warned me. Does it work? Yeah. Perfect. Not completely broke. Anyway, redo. Here, wait. <laughs> Do a little camera magic. We have a few issues with the Wife Max, not a huge deal. It's just something that we can correct on our own here in the garage without spending a million bucks. One will definitely be the dash cluster. I don't think this is going to work. We just pulled it out of the uh, donor truck outside, but I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to read the fuel gauge. So that's really our biggest holdup, as well as the other thing with the dash cluster. Uh, the radio? What was, oh, oh, the park. You, I can't tell if I'm in park, drive, neutral. I have to guess. So we're going to throw that in the truck today. Hopefully it'll correct one of the one or if not both of our issues that we're having with this truck. And not only that, guys, let's check this out. Look at this. Life Max sitting on stocks in the front and big gigantic 35s in the rear. So it looks really silly. I know we made a YouTube video. We put the 35s on it uh, just for video purposes to see what they'd look like with no lift. Clearly it destroyed the front bumper, by the way. It actually pushed this down and... I had to fix this little guy right here. It busted that. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're actually gonna go ahead and put some stock rims and tires with no, decent tread. No, I got tread. my new rims. You're supposed to tell me got my new rims. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> we're actually still waiting on the new rims. As a matter of fact, we definitely put our order in through Anthem Wheels, is who we went with. However, the rims are on back order, so that's what we're waiting on. And I'm still, actually I know it's your truck, but I really would love to get those rims powder coated. I, I, I agree. Oh, I thought you wanted that same. Well, no, I think down the road, I want to get, I want to do something special that will match my little theme I'm going to have going on, so. She's got her own theme going on with this truck. Yeah. But hey, I, I do appreciate everybody who's been following this build right here. It's been very, very cool. Uh, we take this build very serious because, again, it's a build for her. We're building this truck for my wife, and she's actually part of it as well. So she's got her hands in this build as well. I got numerous videos to prove that, so that's kind of cool. So today what we're going to do, again, is we're going to put the dash cluster on, see if that actually fixes our problem. We're also going to be putting on stock wheels and tires that we had on that donor truck that's been sitting outside. Uh, I, so I can drive it down the road because that's going to be happening soon. I'm so excited. Yeah, stay tuned for that video. Unfortunately, guys, they're, I mean, I'm not saying unfortunately they're GMC, but uh, we're putting it on the Chevy. Uh, but we have, unfortunately, we have GMC caps, so we may not ro rock the caps. Yeah, because I want to, I want to cruise down the road. I haven't been able to do that at all. You don't Nothing. Have, you, don't I, have, you don't have AC in that truck yet. That's all right. I mean, if it's just me, I can roll the windows down. But the only place I've driven it is around our property and just in front of our house. That's it. So it's gonna be exciting when I can finally try, try it. <laughs> I just, I'll just drive to the grocery store and get my groceries and. Pull a fifth wheel. Oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get these parts on. Stay tuned. All right. All right. Wow, you've done that a couple times. <laughs> Let me show you what we're talking about here. You turn the key over and as you guys can tell, there's no way to indicate, ooh, low coolant level. I've been telling you that since I got the truck Yeah, back. it's no big deal. There's no uh, indicator telling you if you're in park, drive, neutral, or anything like that. And also, look how much fuel I have. We're good to go. <laughs> Again, I don't think that will fix the problem, changing out a cluster. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if this cluster is gonna work, but even if we can get this part right here, right there, changed, that's gonna be great. That way we can tell if we're in neutral, Drive, low, something. All right. Oh, with the old. We'll give it a little wipe, you know. <laughs> it does have stuff all over it. <laughs> well, it's been sitting outside for months. No, it's like some sort of grease. You just wiped it all over your shirt. Oh, that's all right. Oh. Careful. <gasps> oh, 
It works. <gasps> Wait, what about the fuel gauge? Um, hang on. <laughs> no, the fuel gauge probably doesn't work. It says it's full. It says we're full, but that doesn't mean it's full. But hey. What if you start it? Look at that. Yeah, at least I know if I'm in. You know what gear you're in. Yeah. Yeah, that fuel gauge is wrong. It's, it's reading overfill. Whatever, we'll figure that out later. You can imagine it's the sending unit, which I'm thinking about actually taking the sending unit out of the other truck and then dropping this tank in, or just swapping tanks. I'm really considering that to correct the fuel gauge. Uh, but I do what I do know is there's tuning available to actually correct that as well. Oh yeah, let's see if this thing works. Yes. Let's see if you have, actually have a radio. No, this is actually even gonna work. Hey, look, put it on. You did it upside down. <laughs> my gas gauge is backwards. My radio is upside down. <laughs> Says it's locked, yeah. Locked? I thought that would happen. Oh, so. Any theft. So it thinks someone stole it. Yeah. That's so. not cool. That does suck. How, I wonder hey, how you unlock it. Hey, those. leave in the comments, guys, if you know how to unlock that radio. Yeah, that'd be sweet to know. But either way, I'm probably going to put an aftermarket unit in here anyways. But hey. I wanted something for now, though, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, cool. So that's not going to work for you. Sorry, dear. You don't have any radios laying around? No, I don't. Mommy, cheese. <laughs> cheese. Here we go, guys. I have all four off the truck right here, and these are the tires that I'll be replacing right, it with. Let's see here. I'm going to spray it down. I always like to get the valve stem first. As you guys can see, we have a massive bead leak right here. And then right here, there's some bubbling going on around the valve stem. So that's the bead right there around the tire and the rim. This is a really good way to check for leaks if you have a slow leak. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove the tire out of the bed of the truck. Guys, check it out. Here's the old rims and tires. These are still good, and like I said, the other one had a bead leak. I brought it to the tire shop, and they fixed it for 20 bucks. They know what that tire looked like. That was the tire that was on the front of the GMC when you brought it home, and you pulled it off the trailer, and you were rolling around with that tire all flat. Yes. Coming off the rim, that tire. That tire, yep. It we was saveable, hopefully. <laughs> we should put this on the rear <laughs> no it's fine I, I had them check it out they cleaned up the inside of the rim they did a bead seal they sprayed it all down there's no leaks the tire's good to go usually tire shops will recommend new tires when they think that it's warranted but in this case it's definitely usable and there's still plenty of tread on that thing basically what we're doing right now guys we're going to go ahead and install these four rims on the goofy looking wife max with the giant 35 inch tires in the back and the <laughs> in the 15 15 inch tires in the front <laughs> The wheels and tires are on the truck, but I guess the question remains. Oh, by the way, I didn't use jack stands. You're bad. <laughs> I see people keep getting after you, and then you let, then you do it, and they have a reason to now. Well, I was under the truck. I was on the side of the truck. <laughs> question remains: Should we put the GMC caps on, or does it look cool with them off? Your call. Um. Well, I have to see them on, I guess, to uh -huh. make the call. Mm. On or off? Stand over here. Well, it doesn't look as... It doesn't look as messed up, I guess. It's like a rusty... Yeah, it's a Michigan yeah. rim. So, that covers up that. Actually, this truck was bought in Illinois. Covers up that rustiness. <laughs> yep, that's for my GMC fans. Thanks, guys. All right.
so that didn't work. I'm taking them off because they're not securely locking onto the lug nuts. Some of them are messed up and I hate to drive this thing down the road and a hubcap just go flying off the truck. Yeah, so, I wouldn't like that very much. Tell me what you guys think. It looks pretty cool. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take this thing down the road. Okay. You ready? Ready. You haven't driven your truck in a while. No, hopefully I don't run out of fuel. Look at them headlights. Matches the Boost Auto Parts. Tow mirror is perfect. So your first time driving the truck with uh, normal wheels on it. Yeah, it's cool. I didn't have to worry about my turning and rubbing. You were getting on it pretty hard. I know, I haven't been able to do it that much. <laughs> Sounds really good. This yeah. thing is backed by a Ryan's Diesel Service 68 millimeter charger. Uh, it's actually a 67.7, I believe. Did it sound good? It sounded amazing. Outside? Yeah. Actually, I didn't have my mic on the camera, so oh. it's kind of hard to pick it up. but. Oh. This guy's is an LB7. But if you guys own an LB7 and you want to make it whistle, seriously, look in the description below. I left a link, uh, Ryan's Diesel Service. Check them out. Also, I do have a coupon code for those guys as well. But really a great investment on their turbos. I can't wait to feel it when it's tuned, though. Oh, yeah, it's not it's tuned. It's totally different. Definitely. Yeah, you can feel the lag because it's not tuned. But once you get going, it goes. That's good. It probably has a lot of top end right now. Probably not much pickup, though, from what no, I've noticed. No, it's once you get going. You like the stock wheels? I think it looks good. Oh, this is like a downgrade compared to... I think if we uh, ever took this truck on the track, I know what wheels we're putting on it. These ones? Yeah. Yeah. And not only that... got some. That's cool, huh? Yeah, not only that, they're still pretty decent tires, these Coopers. Coopers are always a good brand. So, no, it looks good. Hopefully we can get these Anthem wheels on here soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of goodies coming. Yeah. Hopefully soon. We have on order a bundle kit from HSP, and we're not revealing the color of the piping kit yet, but I, a lot of prettiness. Yeah, I think we went all out for this bundle kit. So a lot to come, guys. Really excited about the way this build's coming along. But just to get you guys up to speed, we have 50 over injectors. We have the XRG 10 millimeter CP3 pump. We already talked about the 68 charger. We have a five inch exhaust. We have the whole entire drive line except for the front diff is built by Kodiak Truck. Actually, Mark, I made YouTube videos on absolutely everything. As a matter of fact, if you guys go to my playlist after this YouTube video, you guys can actually see the, the basic build on this truck right here with the driveline. Uh, Mark built very this- Very fast build. <laughs> very fast build, yeah. Mark did the full trans rebuild on this transmission. It's an 850 horsepower. We're hoping to hit about 800 horsepower in the near future, so this would be good. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all the time that we have. Do you have anything? excited to drive my truck and uh, you guys need to make sure you stay tuned for what's next. All right guys, see you later. Take care.